Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm James Titko. This week's question is from listener Cecilio. I want to know how does the sun's impact change on tattooed skin? Could tattoos protect us from getting burned? Thank you. Thank you, Cecilio. So will tattoos protect us from sunburn? Well, to help us with this inky inquiry, we're going to explore the two layers which make up our skin. To that end, I've enlisted the expertise of Julia Newton Bishop, Professor of Dermatology at the University of Leeds. The top scaly layer of our skin is called the epidermis, which protects us from many different harmful things and is renewed constantly so that the tissue remains healthy. The epidermal stem cells are special cells within that skin and they're replaced every four to six weeks and the dead cells are shed as scale. The stem cells themselves do self-renew. But protecting these cells from damage is crucial, in part to prevent them from becoming cancer cells. In order to protect these special stem cells from sun damage, the epidermis may thicken up, for example, in people who work outside. But most of the protection results from pigment or melanin, which reduces the sunlight that gets through to the stem cells, which I found at the bottom layer of the epidermis. In people with pale skin, there is less melanin and often a different type of melanin, red or brown in colour rather than black, and this means that there is more damaging energy from the sun reaching the stem cells in the bottom layer of the epidermis. And these cells are then more likely to get damaged and over time become cancerous. The other layer of our skin we have to note is the dermis. The dermis lies below the epidermis and has many fewer cells, but is very important for the strength of the skin. It is also the structure in which hair follicles, blood vessels and essential structures such as nerves lie. In this layer, you'll find the small muscles which make your hair stand on end in goose pimples and glands which produce grease and sweat. Below the dermis is fat fibrous tissue and larger muscles. Tattoo pigment lies in the dermis. That is, the tattoo pigment lies below those critical stem cells of the epidermis and therefore cannot protect them from sun damage, which is why tattoos cannot reduce the risk of skin cancer. Thanks, Julia. And thanks to Cecilio for that thought-provoking question. Next time, we'll be tackling this question from listener Simon. Regularly on my car wing mirrors, spiders' webs form. I imagine that a web on a car is a great place to catch food. Because of their tiny size, are they well able to cope with my car doing 70 miles an hour, Or do some of them get blown away? And when I remove the webs, are they replaced by spiders who are a permanent colony living near my car mirror? Thank you. Well, what an interesting question. If you have any thoughts on what we discussed today here on Question of the Week, please tweet us on at Naked Scientists or log on to the forum on the website to join the conversation. If you've got any questions yourself that you'd like us to tackle, please send them by email to chris at nakedscientists.com. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.